the role of a small capacitor in parallel with the feedback resistor of the operational amplifier. This is an in-phase proportional operational amplifier circuit. RF is the feedback resistor. Some circuits will parallel a small capacitor on the feedback resistor, generally in a few picofarads to tens of picofarads. So what is the role of this capacitor? In fact, this capacitor is a phase compensation capacitor, which prevents the operational amplifier from self-excited oscillation, and this capacitor also has the effect of suppressing high-frequency noise. The negative feedback circuit of the operational amplifier, the amplitude condition for self-excited oscillation is that the loop gain is greater than 1, the phase condition is that the phase sum of the amplification path and the feedback path is equal to 2 and plus 1 pi, and the essence of this oscillation condition is negative feedback. Due to some reasons, it becomes positive feedback. Even if there is no input signal, there will be a stable signal output, which means that self-excited oscillation occurs. First look at this RC circuit, its gain curve is this, phase curve is this one, output signal phase is after input signal. The maximum phase difference between output and input signals is 90 degrees. Then swap the positions of R and C, its gain frequency curve is this one, phase frequency curve is this one. The output signal phase leads the input signal, and the maximum phase difference between output and input signals is 90 degrees. For the negative feedback proportional operational amplifier circuit, if the feedback network is a pure resistive network, the phase difference between the amplifier and the feedback network will generally not exceed plus or minus 180 degrees, which will not meet the phase condition for negative feedback self-excited oscillation. But in actual circuits, there are capacitors on the input pins of the operational amplifier, output pins have output resistance, and then there are load capacitors in the peripheral circuit of the output end. In this way, the feedback loop is a second-order RC model. Its phase frequency curve is this one. There will be a frequency that makes the phase difference between input signal and output signal 180 degrees. This may cause self-excited oscillation. Especially when the load capacitor CL is relatively large, it is easy to cause self-excited oscillation. When a feedback capacitor is paralleled on the feedback resistor, this capacitor plays a role of phase lead compensation, which reduces the phase lag caused by input capacitance and load capacitance above. The phase difference of feedback loop is less than 180 degrees. This destroys the phase condition for negative feedback to produce self-excited oscillation. Let's take a look at its phase frequency curve after adding compensation capacitor. The maximum phase difference has been less than 180 degrees. This avoids self-excited oscillation.